Okay, in this week's video, I'm going to pass on a technique that I read about just yesterday, in fact, uh, and it was by my favourite songwriting tutor, Ed Bell, who wrote the book The Art of Songwriting. I highly recommend it. So I've taken his idea and I've just kind of rejigged it into my own way of thinking and my own, in my own words, because uh, I like to organise things. And I turned it into a five step process, okay? So I'll just summarise those five steps very quickly. Step one, type your favourite artist name into iTunes or Spotify or whatever service you use. Take note of their most favourite tune, or the most popular tune, so usually the most popular one pops up at the top of the list. Listen to the song. If it's your favourite artist, you'll know it anyway. That's step two. Step three, search for the lyrics if you don't know them, or listen to the song and transcribe the lyrics. That's step three. Step four, Get enough of a sense of the lyrics that you can write a summary of their story or their topic in a single short line. Okay, write down what this song is about very concisely, short as possible sentence you can. Okay, what is the song about? What is the story of the song? So that's step four. Step five. Step five, change a single word in your description that alters the entire meaning of the song. A single word that changes that song, that story. You have a new idea for a song at that point. Okay, I'll give you an example. I'm a fan of the Secret Sisters. They're a kind of country stroke Americana duo. They are sisters. Uh, they are beautiful singers and they write great songs. So I typed their name into iTunes and the most popular song that comes up at the moment is called Tomorrow Will Be Kinder. Tomorrow Will Be Kinder. So I googled the lyrics and then I copied them out. Well, I copied out the first verse. I didn't necessarily want to steal their entire, entire song. So here are the, here's the first verse of Tomorrow Will Be Kinder by the Secret Sisters. Black clouds are behind me. I now can see ahead. Often I wonder why I try hoping for an end. Sorrow weighs my shoulders down and trouble haunts my mind. But I know the present will not last and tomorrow will be kinder. There's really no difficulty in summarising what that song is about. In fact, I don't need I don't need to write anything because the whole song is summarised in the title, which is Tomorrow Will Be Kinder. So I'm now going to change a single word of that title, or that phrase, so that it alters the meaning of the song and gives me a new path to write my own song. Now clearly, there's only five words, so I suppose there is a limit to the number of ideas I can come up with, but I did a bit of brainstorming very quickly, and here are seven ideas that I came up with. Tomorrow will be cruel. Clearly the opposite. Today will be kinder. I will be kinder. You will be kinder. Tomorrow won't be kinder. Tomorrow should be kinder. Love will be kinder. If you brainstormed, you come up with your own with your own ideas. So I'm just going to choose two of those those ideas and expand upon them a little bit and, and that'll give me some more ideas for songwriting. Let's try the first one. Tomorrow will be cruel. What story can we tell or can you tell with this idea? Has this person lost a lover and now they must endure life without them? Tomorrow will be cruel. Is their heart full of hate for someone who has done them wrong? Tomorrow will be cruel. 
Has the world been, become a crueler place to live in as every day passes tomorrow? Will be cruel, well, uh, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the first one. I've got a few ideas I could write about there. Second idea I chose was today will be kinder. What story can I tell or you tell with this idea? Are you going to be kinder from now on? Has something momentous, momentous happened in your life and now you've seen the light? Today will be, kind, will be kinder. Today will be kinder. Is the world becoming a kinder place? Doesn't seem that way. But today, today will be kinder. Have you reconnected with a friend or a lover? Today will be kinder. Any one of these angles you can use to start a new song. And the great thing about this idea is that it's like a bottomless, bottomless pit of potential ideas. There are millions of songs. There are millions of ways of rejigging this idea for your own, uh, to suit yourself. So you don't need to pick the first, you don't need to pick the first song that comes up. You can pick, you can decide that you're always going to pick the fifth song, the fifth most popular song. Or you could say, right, I'm going to take five different artists, do this exercise. I'm going to end up with 25 different ideas and then I'm going to choose the best one of that. You can just rejig this. And you've, as I say, I said at the start, you've got a kind of bottomless pit. That's not the right phrase, but you've got as many ideas as, as you can handle for your next song. Now one thing I should say, don't try to rewrite the original song you chose. Don't go through the lyrics and change them to suit your new idea. This is your jumping off point. Don't revisit lyrics, just start from the idea you've settled upon and build your own world and your own song and your own story from there. Okay, so that's this week's uh, short video. I hope you found that useful and I'll catch you next week. <laughs>